Smells like fish. Not crowded at all. <laughs> no, come here. Come here. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Hello guys in this beautiful day. Hola a todos. Today we are in Peniche. We already been here, but today we will look from living here perspective. Let's go. Vamos. That was mine. I sat down by the ocean. It's our tears that I feel. Fill up with emotions. Could I taste them for real? Longing for you, longing for you Oh, but I can't get back What can I do, what can I do When your dream is gone I don't wanna go back, back Don't wanna go back If you are not with me Hey, do you read me? Go back, back To where we came from If my hands are empty Okay, let's go to the city, town, and uh, we missed, I missed a couple of places last time. So we want to check out the market because we are usually late for market. We are not morning people, right? <laughs> <laughs> but long story short, Panish is a both a city or town, I'm not sure, and also municipality. In city lives around 13,000 inhabitants, yes. yeah? And in municipality, 30,000? 30, 26,000. 26, and area of municipality, it's not big municipality, around 77 square kilometers. Your intentions are good. I walk back to my history, into my own. I've been here like 100 times. I also lived here last year for a month and I love it. It's chill vibe, nobody hurries. Hopefully you don't need to get your documents ready here. <laughs> you okay? Now, yes. Let's go. <laughs> we will be late for market. I wanna see some fishes. And this place where we started, I know it was some volcano. Let's get to the information board and I will explain. You can fall down quite easily here. But nobody's here. And today is what? Thursday. We are almost at the information board. Papua. Papua. This is place Papua. But it feels like seismic activity here. So this is here existed volcano on the way to Papua Islet. Whitish limestone layers from the early Jurassic are visible. Not so interesting. <laughs> but, but it's beautiful. You don't come here for facts, you come here for, for vistas. And always when you are in Peniche, in distance you see Berlengas. If you are interested in that place, check my other episode out. Oh, and it's very hot today, actually, 26 degrees. It's the second hot day this year. Okay, from living perspective, I can tell that uh, there is hospital in Peniche. Small, but still. And uh, from grocery stores, 
I saw Continent, uh, Lidl, Aldi, Intermarsh, and most important, they have Burger King. <laughs> I think we found the Mercado Municipal, it's right here, in uh, one of the roundabouts. How can we get there? It looks closed, <laughs> but online it was written it's until 2 o'clock. All the fish will be gone. This is the entrance. Smells like fish. They are closing already. They are closing, yeah. Yeah, we missed it. Fechado? Fechado. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> A peixe, peixe also here? Ah. Also fechado. Obrigado. We missed it again. Okay, when we will make a third video about Mercado. Yeah, but every time I come to Peniche, I feel like at home. Because I don't know how to explain. You can feel still Portugal. That's the most important thing for me. old part of the city and that's Sao Pedro church. Sao Pedro was also in uh, Ericeira. Now I lie to you, this is Igreja Sao... Igreja da Mis Misericordia. I cannot pronounce it. Mis Misericordia? Now this is my kind of old town, <laughs> not crowded at all. <laughs> it's empty. It's not empty. It's almost empty. I can breathe here. You can enjoy. Nobody is distracting you. Surf shops, skater shops, and a lot of uh, shops for women. You want to move here? It's a lot of shops, that's one, one check in your book. <laughs> wow, this nice little chill out area. You don't need to go surfing, you just can come here, take a cold one and enjoy the vibe. So we reached Tau Pedro. Let's have some sardines. And this place, if I understand correctly, is here for 35 years. He told me that they, in the start it was a smaller place and then they bought this part also and now it's like... I would say nice restaurant.
Okay, so we ordered uh, what we ordered. Uh, simple, yeah. For two persons, the plate of seafood with shrimps, sardines. They changed the fish. Uh, sea bass, uh, lobster, mussels. It's yeah. actually a good deal if there is a lobster because. Uh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if it's good. I'm very hard uh, critic on the place. I rarely say anything is good, <laughs> yeah. except all the places. <laughs> yeah. But they are good. I'm not lying to you guys. Oh, we have a small puppy. Nice. <laughs> That's cutie. Chin chin in Spanish. Baba. Baba. Like bacalhau. Did you know that bacalhau is mostly from uh, Iceland and Norway? I don't know. That was surprising to me. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not catched in uh, Portugal. And it's traditional food of Portugal. Yes. Traditional food of Portugal is uh, catched in Iceland and Norway. Yeah, that's strange. This restaurant also is not only for uh, seafood, they have also wagyu, steaks, like everything. Wow, I have no words. This is the biggest plate of seafood what we tried in Portugal. Tuna, sea bass, sardines, shrimp or lobster, I don't know. Ah, these are shrimps. Another fish, potato salad. I think this is the top uh, seafood platter what we had in Portugal. Let's try. Mm. Mm. Saliva. <laughs> Taste test. How does it taste? Grilled. Grilled? Good? Yeah. Not dry? Yeah. No. Mm. Very good. You want to try? No. <laughs> Later. This? You want me to try shrimp? Circle strong in a Cuban length. Mmm. I cannot explain the taste of the seafood and sardines. My favorites in Portugal. Ah, it's hot. It's classic. Take a look at the meat. Piping hot. I will look funny, but that's because it tastes. 10 out of 10, even more. What is this? Sea bus. I will try this. This is the best spent uh, 100 euros for sea platter, I think, in Portugal this far. I eat it with knife? Yeah, yeah, I have to You give me the tools? This is Portuguese lobster. Okay, let's try lobster. Ah, it's so satisfying. Mmm, now I feel it. Now I feel it. I wanna go live in ocean. Mm. See bream? But then, uh, everything I try is excellent. This is hidden gem of Portugal, O Pedro. I stopped eating with the fork because it's just protein, good fats. You don't need supplements, eat seafood. Oh. This platter is definitely not for two people, but uh, this was the biggest quantity and taste quality of seafood in Portugal so far.
We already got her. That's ice cream with pastel donata? No, it's pastel donata ice cream. Pastel donata ice cream? Yeah. How does it taste? Like ice cream? No. <laughs> like what? I don't remember. I know the taste. It's familiar taste. I know it also. Yeah, but it's not pastel donata for sure. We will try to think about it real hard, but let me try my chocolate mousse. Because I'm an expert in chocolate mousse in Portugal already. I tried like 12 different, I think. Consistency is... It's actually, color is a bit lighter than regular. Mm, salty and sweet balance. They nailed it. Obrigado. Ciao, ciao. Obrigado. Bye, bye. Ciao. Ah, bon appetit. <laughs> this is really good place. I love it. Marisqueira Restaurante O Pedro. I'm loving it. Recommend it. Fish already went to mussels. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. Long story short again, now we go to Fort, I think that's Fort, now it's museum. I hope it's open because last time it was closed. Uh, we need to walk off these calories. We decided that uh, last time already. Yeah, but Cerveceri. I'm telling you, this is cervejeria. So, oh, <laughs> it's not about the beer. Oh. I'm pecheria now, <laughs> because I'm full of fish. <laughs> Wow, that's Marina. Last time I've been here, this looks nice. I came uh, from here to Berlengas. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm full already. Oh, Let's go. No, it's but if you want to go to Berlengas Islands, you come to this next to the fort, and there are these small, small uh, houses. <laughs> small <laughs> houses. Uh, maybe we can go to Berlengas? No, we cannot. We don't have time. Uh, and they're probably already coming back. Yes. This fort uh, also functioned as a prison, but now it's museum. I don't want to go back to Kashkash, I want to stay here. It's so relaxing. Oh! <laughs> it attacked me. <laughs> No, fort museum is closed again, but maybe I'm mixing up. Maybe that fort in the center is a museum. Sao Pedro? <laughs> we just found it accidentally. Ah, I remember this church. Last time I've been here, it was like under construction or something. I recharge in this little quiet side street. And we got lost. 
<laughs> we are not lost. Yes, it's Spanish. We got lost. Spanish. We don't know where is museum. Museum, you mean? Mm, museum. <laughs> it's somewhere <laughs> in this district of Leria. <laughs> yep. And we found again shopping tour. There was door also. Wow, but the ceiling. <laughs> I'm appreciating architecture. Wooden ceiling. You feel like an authentic store of Panish. I found the influencer hoodie. Check it out. She wants to be influencer. I could not find anything for me because maximum size is L. <laughs> You're joking, right? Yes. Careful. You walk out the store and car hit you straight away. <laughs> Happy me. <laughs> so we got the hoodie for our daughter. Oh, 50 minutes in a shop like that. For me, it's like two hours in a line somewhere. <laughs> no. Yoga massage. What's yoga massage? Yoga and massage. Ah. I remember we are looking for museum. It should be in the fort. I see the fort. I want to find it. I'm looking two years already for it. So my wife gave up and looked up on Google. But Thank it, God I did But that. it's closed, temporarily closed. Okay, let's go get the car and uh, fly a drone somewhere. Ah, I yeah. want to show you the cave. Yes, you want to see the cave? Yes. Okay, vamos. Sit, join the ride. Oh. Okay, you need to come to this point of reference and then you go here, down from the cliffs. Looks terrifying, but it's not so bad. Can you, you wait for me? Yes. It does look terrifying. It's not so bad. No, it is. See? No, you're joking, right? No, come here. I'm not gonna go there. Come here. <laughs> Give me your no. hand. Give me your hand. Forget. It's not so bad. It's stairs. If you will fall, you will fall on other rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Come. On other cliff. No, I'm no. so afraid. Come. It gets easier from this point. See? Easy. No, it's not. It is. No, it's not. It's just... Same cliffs like everywhere in Portugal. Mm -hmm. But take a look at the peacefulness of the ocean. Oh, but uh, they, they needed back in the day to have a protection. That's why they chose this because I believe they didn't have the stairs. So they just climbed it down. We found a cave already. Can you look at me? <laughs> it's not about the skirt. Look at the rocks like this. No, like, don't look. So terrifying. Not, Jesus. Don't hold on the rocks. Then where? 
hold on to my hand. That's it. We are here. Oh, it will be colder inside at least. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. I'm so afraid of the height. Uh, you, you go there. Come. You go there. There is living room, bath, bedroom, bathroom. Yeah, like the last time, <sighs> just in the front because Come we were afraid here. to go inside. Okay, let's I go back. <laughs> it's beautiful. Kalnais no chūskam nenobīsties. If you see snake, don't be afraid. Because snake is the least least concern now. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Vis. Done. <laughs> Go to the beach to wrap up this video. Let's not go far away. Let's dig some hole in the sand <laughs> and stay there. Uh, and what I want to mention about real estate because we want to move here also. So buying price is uh, 2,100 uh, per square meter. <clears throat> and uh, for long-term rent, if I'm not mistaken, 13 euros per square meter per month. So average prices for Portugal. And what do we think about this place? Should we move here? What do you think? I love it. It gives me like so relaxed vibe. But you forgot that you need to film a video. No, I filmed the video. This is then. Yeah, I'm joking. Only thing I don't, I'm not sure about schools. Yeah, they don't have international schools. They have like a private school, public school. Public yeah. schools they have. Maybe we need to change for that. Yeah. But uh, we asked also in restaurant uh, about hospital. They told there is hospital, but it's not so like good uh, with other options. So everything you need, you go to Caldas de Rainha, which is not far, 10 minutes from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, next time we will go to another place where I've already been, but I want to show to my wife and my daughter. It's one of my favorite places in Portugal, if not the most favorite. <gasps> Even better than Peniche? Mm. Hey. <laughs> we'll see it's different uh, different different thing yeah I think it's more a city part it's between Peniche and Torres Vedras it's actually in the middle between. <laughs> <laughs> so it's located in the middle stay tuned don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next uh, Friday Saturday or Sunday <laughs> It depends how fast my fingers will work. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about editing. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.